And now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Surge 7 meteorologist Brian James. Good Friday night to you. Finally, a warmer weekend shaping up across the high plains with temperatures tomorrow in the 70s and on Sunday in the 80s. And we're going to stay warm at least through Monday and Tuesday of next week before that next shot of cold air makes its way. And I know you're going to be really tempted. You want to get outside. You want to plant some of those spring flowers and spring plants. You want to make your yard beautiful. I understand that, but I would advise you to just hold off a little bit longer. Wait for this next shot of cold air to make its way in. Our, our average last date of a Freeze, by the way, is usually the latter part of April, like the last couple of days of April. So typically in a given year, we have to wait till late April anyway. Just keep that in mind. Take a look at uh, what's going on with Live Max radar right now. You can see a few showers back toward the northwest and mainly just some light sprinkles. A lot of this is not reaching the ground. It's moving off toward the east and southeast. But again, a lot of this is not reaching the ground. Maybe a few sprinkles across northwestern, north central parts of the high plains tonight. A chance for a few more showers and thunderstorms coming up tomorrow. Take a look at our school net sites. Temperatures for the most part in the middle 50s on the north side of town. 55 degrees at the Discovery Center. 53 degrees, though, at Humphreys Highland and 53 also at Bushland. South side of town, uh, River Falls Airport, it's currently 54 degrees, also 54 at South Georgia and 53 at Austin Middle School. Back to the northwest, Keys, Oklahoma, 56 degrees, Clayton, New Mexico, 54 and 56 in Dalhart. Across the northeastern Panhandle, Canadian, 51, Pampa, 52 in Borger, Pear and Nichols, 55 degrees. Down toward the southeast, 55 also in Wellington, Matthews Ranch, a degree cooler at 54, Quanah at 58 degrees, and back toward the west and southwest, Tulia, 54, Portales, still 64 degrees and 58 out at San Home. Here's a look at Goodwill, Oklahoma, where it's 54 degrees. A dew point of 34. Relative humidity is at 46 uh, percent. Not seeing much of that moisture make it to the ground, even with a few showers in the area. Take a look at what's going on around the nation. Radar satellite combination showing still the powerhouse upper level storm system producing some snow across parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the UP of Michigan. For us, we're watching two upper level disturbances. One making its way on through right now, coming out of Colorado, dropping down toward the south. East. Second one back toward the southwest of us, moving across Arizona and New Mexico. That will slide into the area tomorrow and may kick off a few more showers and thunderstorms for us. 53 in Little Rock, 64 degrees in Houston, Albuquerque at 51 degrees. Take a look at what happens for tonight. A few of those showers making their way off toward the east and down to the south. Maybe a few thunderstorms by the time they make their way into northwestern parts of Oklahoma. Some lingering clouds to start the day. We'll start off with a pair of fours, 44 degrees, southeast wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. 62 for a noontime temperature, breezy through the afternoon with a south wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour. You can see in the afternoon, Computer Ma wants to generate a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms, so you may want to have an umbrella handy. Just keep an eye on the sky for the afternoon. 73 for the high, south wind, around 15 to 25 miles an hour. Saturday night into Sunday, next storm system coming at us from the northwest. We'll see a good amount of sunshine, also a good amount of wind, southwest to west winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, but it'll be a warming wind. We're climbing at the low 80s by Sunday afternoon, but we'll come back down a little bit as we head into mainly as we head into uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. That's when the main cold front does make its way in. But tonight, temperatures back in the upper 30s to upper 40s with the winds blowing from the southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. In Amarillo and Canyon, there is a slim chance for one of those isolated showers or thunderstorms around. And then tomorrow we'll top out in the low to mid 70s with generally a part of the cloudy sky, but watch out in the afternoon. There might be a couple thunderstorms around. Around the area tomorrow, low to mid 70s, a part of the cloudy sky, and then we'll see that chance for a few hit and miss afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. 1 800 Plumber 7 day forecast temperatures low 80s for Sunday, back in the 70s for Monday and Tuesday. Then that stronger front comes in Tuesday night, falling temperatures Wednesday by Wednesday night to Thursday. I notice those low temperatures down in the mid 20s, so we may see another hard freeze. And if we have some moisture around, might have a few lingering snow showers oh, as well. Let's not talk about that. Let's, it's a weekend that we've earned. Let's go out and enjoy it, okay? Let, let's just focus. Yeah. Carpe diem, seize the weekend. One day at a time, mm -hmm. yeah. There's an under.